didn't see you standing there. So, today, I thought that I would come here and talk to you a little bit about my mug, my chompers, my pearly yellows, little mouth bones, face chiclets, chomper downers. This subject to me is incredibly touchy. Not in a way that like it makes me feel awkward to talk about it. It just is like <sighs> we all have things that we'd like to change about ourselves if we could. Um, and I hate being like that. I hate saying that because I'm really, I really try to not take things for granted and I like to be grateful for what I have. And so honestly, I should just be happy with the fact that I have teeth that I can eat with, um, that they're healthy and that's that, you know, I should just be happy with it. I am happy, you know, if I did nothing with them, I'd still be happy, but they're the one thing that if I could change anything about myself physically, it would be my teeth. And it's always been that. And I think it's time. I think it's time for me to do it. Um, but I have so many, I'm still like, I'm still on the fence of whether I should or whether I shouldn't. So I just said I'd go over the pros and cons with you and get your input. See what you think. Maybe hear from some of you guys if you've done it and how you feel. Um, and if you've felt the same way that I have, what I would probably do is something like Invisalign, uh, but to do actual Invisalign for me would be over $5,000. I don't have $5,000 just to, well, I don't have $5,000. And I'm sure that they have payment plans. I know they do because I've, I've talked to my dentist about it, but that's still a lot. And for how long, you know, that's, that's a lot of money, you know, and to do something just basically cosmetic, um, $5,000. I mean, like, whoa, I have two kids, you know, they have teeth. My son for sure is going to need braces. Um, I don't have insurance, you know, that's not gonna, it's not gonna be covered with insurance. So that's a big one. Um, but I do know of a place that a friend of mine has gone to here locally that is like Invisalign, but it's kind of like the off brand. I don't know so much about it. I'll find out and let you guys know, but it's a lot less expensive and you can do payment plans as well. So that is probably, if I do this, more along the lines of what I would do. I've looked into places like Smile Direct Club, which are, um, you know, the at-home kits. They send you the molds, you do the molds at home, you send them in, and then um, they let you know whether they, you know, what your plan would be. Um, and then they send you the molds for your teeth through the mail. The downside to that that makes me worry the most is that you don't have you're not working directly with a dentist. Uh, I'm sure that you can get it figured out. Like if something were to go wrong, I could go to my dentist, but I like the idea of having somebody there alongside me. This is not something that I do every day. It's something that I've wanted to do for a long time, so I want to do it right. And it's my teeth, you know, if I know like if you move them too quickly, they can get loose, they can, you know, that could cause problems. So like all of these things are spinning in my head. The what if this happens? What if this happens? What if this happens? Another con is, okay. So 
every time I've mentioned doing this, I have so many people message me and they're like, I've always loved your teeth. You know, it's so charming. Those kind of things add character. They're quirky. I love it. Part of me is like, if I change them, do I lose part of my character? You know, like, while that's such a nice thing for somebody to say, it makes me, um, it makes me nervous that I'm gonna, like, lose a little touch of me. As crazy as that is, you know, like, it doesn't matter what other people see, it's how I feel, but, you know, does that make sense at all or is that just dumb? Um, because I feel like it's a little bit dumb, but it also, like, it's a thing in there. So it has to be important. You know, it's in my head. Um, I don't know. I just can't even imagine. I can't even imagine them being straight. Like, the thought of it makes me... Like, this is where I think I really need to do it. Because the thought of me having a straight smile like I'm tearing up right now just even thinking about it because I don't smile I do not smile with my teeth ever you will not catch me doing it and if you do it's rare um I smile like that most of every photo you see of me is my pursed lips <clears throat> because I just I look at my teeth and I just that's, or I look at my face and that's just all I see is my teeth. Um, I did like the last video that I did, which was my first video. There was actually one before that that I did and I could not stand watching it because my teeth seemed so forward. <laughs> like they just seemed to be the forefront of the video. And that's all I could see and so I trashed it so to get to a point where I could do something like this with confidence like I mean every time I talk to somebody I'm conscious of whether they're seeing how awful my teeth are to not think that I mean I don't even know like if that's so I'm just embedded in my head now that um, that I'll always feel that way or if it'll gradually go away or if I will just like once they're straight magically have this confidence um, that I didn't have before um, I don't know like so many there's so much like just clinking around in there um, <clears throat> I just can't even I just can't even imagine having I just can't even imagine. Oh my gosh. So this, this feeling right here really makes me think that I should do it. Like it really, it kind of like solidifies me talking about it out loud, kind of just clears it up right there that I should do it. I should do it. It's going to make me happy. It's going to give me this boost of confidence. Like I have other things that are characteristic of me. My teeth do not define me whether they are rubbish or straight. It's just a part of me. And if it happens to make me feel a little better to do it, then I should. Right? Right? What are your thoughts? Do you have concerns like this? Have you done this before? I know a lot of you who have. Um, I've posted about this on my Facebook page before, um, talking about whether I should, you know, if I knew anybody who has done something like Smile Direct Club. There was a lot of back and forth. You know, there were people who work in the dental industry who were like, oh, be careful. And then there were people who have done it who were like, yes, I loved it, you know. what do you think tell me comment down below let me know what you think and if I do it I'll give you progress reports 
And if I don't, then I'll just say, hey, I decided not to. And um, if you want to, you can subscribe to this channel. And if you don't want to, well, then you're just a big, big, big jerk. Sorry. I like you. And I think you're so rad. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye.